Two statements and two answers. The two statements form the start of an election address by a police and crime commissioner candidate printed in a local online paper three days before the second election of commissioners. I was surprised to learn that Sussex Conservative Party members had not changed their choice of candidate in the light of the Commissioner's performance since 2012. The two answers were in response to questions posed during the first Sussex Police and Crime Panel meeting held after the election on the 4th of July 2016. What was this woman's message to the people in May 2016? Her first two sentences were As PCC, I have the experience and proven track record to continue making a difference to policing. And then, by successfully holding the police to account, HM Inspectorate of Constabulary now rates Sussex in the top five performing forces in UK. The first sentence is virtually meaningless, and the second is grammatically incompetent and factually dishonest. The first sentence does not say whether Bourne will make a difference for better or for worse. She could have contributed to changes recorded in this chart, from a recent Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary report on Sussex Police. The 41 vertical bars represent Welsh and English police forces. The black bar, labelled A, represents Sussex Police. So 10% of Sussex Police workforce, being leavers, make Sussex Police the third highest in England and Wales. Did Bourne contribute to that? And is it a creditable state of affairs? In the second sentence, holding is a present participle, the words before the comma form a participial phrase, and a participial phrase is linked grammatically to the noun, noun phrase or pronoun that follows it. So the sentence seems to be saying that HMIC is successfully holding the police to account, when presumably its author was trying to say that Sussex in the form of its commissioner was successfully holding the police to account. Do HMIC rate Sussex in the top five performing forces in UK? I've said that that is factually dishonest. Rate suggests a published report rather than a private communication, perhaps the report that I shall be examining in relation to the first question. For now, I will just point out that HMIC is only responsible for police forces in Wales and England. UK comprises Wales, England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. In what report, then, can HMIC have rated Sussex as in the top five performing forces in the UK? Sussex Police and Crime Panel met on the 4th of July 2016 and the agenda included the annual public question time. There was one question, which unfortunately the questioner entrusted to the chairman. It's from uh, Mr Carrick of Peacehaven, and he uh, says, I am a resident and homeowner in Peacehaven, and note that I pay approximately 11% of my council tax for Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner which would equate in total across Peacehaven, Telscombe and East Saltdean to in excess of 1.5 billion. Was it billion or million? However, now we have no PCSOs and the nearest full-time police station will be in Lewis. Therefore, how can the police, sorry, how can Sussex police justify this charge? I assume by that he means the Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner. He said Sussex Police and probably means it. You can't even read a simple question about serious matters without misreading, changing the message and amusing yourself at your own superior understanding. I can justify this charge <clears throat> as value for money and what steps will they take to provide a proper service to the public to obviate 
drugs, petty crime and vandalism, which is on the increase. I pay approximately 11% of my council tax for Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner. Now we have no PCSOs and the nearest full-time police station will be in Lewis. How can Sussex Police justify this charge as value for money and what steps will they take to provide a proper service to the public to obviate drugs and petty crimes and vandalism which is on the increase? Let me start firstly with the cost of my office. Um, it was recognised by HMIC, Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary, in their recent uh, value for money report that my office of Police and Crime Commissioner is one of the most cost efficient in the country, uh, costing taxpayers in Sussex 68 pence per household per year, compared to the national average uh, of one pound and six pence. The introduction to the latest HMIC value for money profile says the VFM profiles are designed to raise questions, not make judgments. Would HMIC have ignored their own advice and rated Sussex in the top five performing forces in UK and judged the Sussex Commissioner's Office as one of the most cost efficient in the country? Notice that Sussex is in a group of most similar forces. The MSG were designed to offer a fairer comparison of levels of crime between forces as they group forces with similar demographics. What are the implications of the word fairer? Comparing police forces from markedly different areas is unfair. Comparing forces within the same group is fairer, though not entirely fair, as the areas served may still have significant differences. PCC net revenue expenditure is on page 39 of this report, with six charts and a small table, each based on expenditure, with no mention whatever of cost efficiency. In the table, the office cost per head is 68p for Sussex, but one pound three p not Bourne's one pound six p for all's average and ninety four p for MSG average, all of which is unimportant until the value of what the officers do is taken into account. This is the overall chart. Sussex is the black column, and the others with a letter beneath them are grouped with Sussex. The note says that the data should be read with caution. Sussex is more expensive than average in the MSG. On policing and crime, Sussex spent less than everyone except Essex. For commission services, Sussex spent more than average for the MSG. Commission services include those provided by the many committees to which panel members belong committees which depend on the Commissioner for their funds. Let's hear a little more of the answer to the Peacehaven question. In your local council tax, the police precept you currently pay is the fourth lowest amount in the country for policing. So I think I can demonstrate quite clearly that local taxpayers get incredibly good value for money, not just from my office, but from Sussex Police as well. If you can demonstrate the incredible... Why don't you do so? The HMIC Value for Money Profile 2015 includes many charts with data on Sussex Police. This chart, based on recorded violence against people, shows that your perennial puffing message, safer in Sussex, is a shameless lie. Recorded violence against the person in Sussex is higher on average than in their MSG and in all profiled forces. For special services, Sussex is eight times more expensive than average and twice the cost of any other force. For road policing, they are well above the rest of their MSG. For total custody, they lead the field. Though, for safeguarding the health of those in custody, the A identifier has no column at all. For criminal justice, Sussex is well ahead of their MSG average. Police staff and PCSOs are clearly above the rest of their group 
and administration support is only less expensive than one of them. For supplies and services, they're top again. Um, in answer to his question, how, um, how do we uh, provide a proper service? Well, I uh, challenge the Chief Constable regularly at our monthly performance accountability meetings. I watched the first few minutes of the July 2016 meeting and saw no challenge whatever, only a polite pre-arranged exchange of notes on various topics. The Commissioner and her Sussex Police Chief Executive sat facing the Chief Constable and his Deputy. The Commissioner asked the police what they were doing about this and that and made notes, presumably so that she could tell anyone who asked what the police were doing about this and that. Many councillors on the panel echoed our Peacehaven questioner's concerns about the change to PCSO deployment, and in answer to one of these, Bourne explained away the police station problem. And of course, with PCSOs and police constables working in these, um, in these mobile teams, Every police officer now is effectively a police station. And, uh, and in the cars that they have, there are um, laptops and so on. So they are very uh, much more mobile than they've ever been before. PCSOs are now being used as part of larger teams of officers. So to see what had been planned, I opened the policing plan for the first time and was astonished to find it comprised only 55 small pages about A5 landscape, with more than a dozen photographs, including one of the commissioner, and pointless graphics filling large areas of white space. Knowing how much taxpayers' money Sussex Police cost last year, I was even more astonished when I entered PCSO in a search box and found only that PCSOs were an unspecified proportion of 74% of the workforce. No wonder the Commissioner has to ask the police what they are actually doing. How much spending per year does the ridiculous police and crime plan involve? That was revealed by the Commissioner's Chief Finance Officer, who is leaving when he spoke about the financial outturn report for the last financial year. So overall, uh, what that means is a, a £3.6 million uh, surplus at the end of the year, which, to put that into context, equates to about 1% of the budget. Councillor Howell, after expressing her concern for the loss of neighbourhood PCSOs, referred to a report which said that police on the beat prevent crime and save money. There is a University of Cambridge research document that has come out saying policing two officers on the beat prevent 86 assaults that save thousands of pounds in prison costs. So I'd quite like to know if you've actually looked at that report and have a comment on that. Um, you referred to the Cambridge University report. Uh, that was written by Larry Sherman, Professor Larry Sherman, who I sit on the College of Policing board with. I know Larry very well, and, um, and I am aware of the report that he brought out. And uh, he makes some uh, really valid points in there. Have you read it? And does Sherman value your approval? I would just point out that Larry's the first one to say we have the best policing model in the world and he lectures all over the states where they look at our policing model with huge envy. I'm not surprised hearing some of their stories. Instead of that fatuous comment from the chairman, we should have heard a severe reprimand directed at Bourne for this self-serving jingoistic nonsense going beyond her deceit over the HMIC report. Were you the viewer led to believe that Larry, an English friend of Sussex's commissioner, had gone over to the States to enlighten them about policing? Lawrence W. Sherman was born in New York in 1949, studied and then taught in United States universities, is an experimental criminologist with an international reputation for his published work on many aspects of policing and crime, and only came to work in England late in his distinguished career.